The goal for today is for me to have every single player on my team be the same overall. I don't know what overall to go with. I think I'm going to try 82. Also, I've had this studio light here forever. It did come with a replacement bulb, thankfully. But it has been years. And it's kind of flickering right now, so I feel like it's going to go. Hopefully, I at least get this video out of it. Because I don't feel like doing all that right now. I was going to try 83 overall, but I just don't feel like there's enough players left at the end of the draft to make that happen. We could make some trades for it, but I feel like 82 is the safe bet. We're not going to be good, but it will be a unique team. I can tell you that for free. Okay, I'm going to go with the comment suggestion again. Move over to this side so that we're not on Washington. And let's randomize. We get the Winnipeg Jets. I am the owner, okay? I'm the Jackie Moon of this team. Except I'm not going to be a player. Jabroni, it's funny to me that you still think you stand a chance. Player morale, no, no. I'll just turn all of this off. Whatever. And we need this on. I almost missed that. I actually saw a comment recently where I did the butterfly goalie career sim. And I didn't put the butterfly X factor on them. And as soon as I... Every time I read these comments, I'm just like, come on. How did I not think of that? But to be fair, in hindsight, I think I wanted it to be the exact same X factors and abilities as the stand-up goalie so that the only difference was the player type. I believe that's what I was going for. But I probably wouldn't have put Butterfly anyway if I wasn't going for that. You know what I mean? We're going to be drafting at number 11. It's got to be, right? What other option could we possibly have? We could have 25. That's a fair point. Draft position doesn't affect us that much because I'm going straight to 82s. So, you could have gave me the very last pick. For, we, you could skip the first three rounds, honestly. It's taking me a long time to get down here. And we're going to have to do this every time. Here we go. JVR is our first pick. No, absolutely not. Cole Perfetti, 82 overall. That's an option. Liddell. Kent Johnson. We do have some very good 82 overall players. And I want to try and get... The ones that have good potential because that way they could grow as the season progresses. You never know. My main goal is just to have them start at the same overall. So welcome to the team, Perfetti. There has to be some 82 overall players making bank, right? Like hopefully we should be able to get to the cap. I think it will auto adjust it for me anyway, but I would prefer to get there on my own. Rodriguez is a very good 82 overall player. However, no, not yet. Let's go with, ooh, that's a good one. Better be at 5 million. That's good. That will take up some caps. So I'm going to go with Mr. Faraby, and I'll be right back for you, Laffy Taffy. Yep, he's still here. That's not really a surprise. Did Kent Johnson and Lundell already go, or are they just hiding somewhere in amongst the 82s because they don't want to be drafted by our team? I don't blame you. Casey Middlestat, I kind of think they're gone, unless there's just a lot of 82 overall players. Okay. Mason McTavish. What a good one. Are we still got... Seth as well. All right, let's go with Mason. We need a right winger, so I'm coming back for Seth immediately. We could also scoop up Owen Tippett and the three-time Stanley Cup winning Phil Kessel at some point. So let's go with Seth. I'm starting to wonder if we could have gotten away with 83. I might have to do a speed draft after this and test it out. Caden. Absolutely. The Con Smythe winner. Just kidding. Not actually, but up there. Absolutely. Aiden Hill. My concern mostly comes in like the last two picks. Is there going to be 83 overall players, you know? Because you also got to take into consideration if I'm scooping up all the 83 overall players, that means there's going to be a lot less at that time. Jake Bean. Offensive defenseman. I have no idea what the handedness of our defenseman is right now, but I'm going to go ahead and make the selection anyway. So we currently have two left-handed defensemen and a right-handed defender. Okay, cool. Yoki Haru. 2.5 million. I gotta say, actually, we are kind of running low on 82 overall players already. So we're gonna go ahead and forget everything I just said. I didn't realize I was sorting by defenseman. Ignore me. We're gonna go with Lawson. Power forward. 4.3 milli. That adds to the cap. Thank you. As a matter of fact, I appreciate your salary. Sonny Milano, a sniper. We already have three left wings. He's left wing slash right wing, though. Sure. So if you see what I mean here, we are only 12 players in, and there's not a lot of 83s left. So I think 82 is the way to go. How about that? I swear he was 83 overall. Absolutely, except I'm taking LeBanc first. I'm also taking Lars Eller first. Rodriguez, though. 
two-way forward. I think I kind of prefer the two-way forward right now, but I'll probably still get Rodriguez. We must get the Intimidator, Luke Shen. Gonna go look at goalies. Hopefully we're still fine. Not only are we fine, we got options. Partially leaning towards Bernier because of the 4.1. And that will bring our cap up. I'm also gonna draft JVR, I think. So that will help with the cap situation. Leafs legend, Jonathan Bernier. Welcome to the Winnipeg Jets. So we still need four more players and there is 483 overall players left and they're all defensemen. So I think 82 was the move. And you know what else is the move? Drafting the man who always fights the most and gets the most pimps. I see no better choice. Kyle Pozo, six milli. Right wing power forward. Sign him up. What handedness defender do we need? Got one left. Two. Okay, so we need a left-handed defenseman, one more forward, and we are set. It'll bring us a little bit closer to the cap. Did he get bought out? Sure. Yeah, but maybe I should go with Schmidt then. Nate. Sorry, OEL. I still don't think we're going to get to the cap, and on top of that, probably not taking Phil. Sorry, buddy. Looking towards either Oshi. Carter, Henrique, one of those guys. We need a centerman. He's got 83, which is pretty solid. What is he, 2A forward? Yeah, okay. Adam will be the final member. Yeah, I don't know if 83 would be possible. It might. Goalies, got one left. It would be close. I'll say that. There's our team. Let's see if we get any chemistry. I'm sort of under the impression that to get more than a plus one... You need to have X-Factors and abilities, which we currently have none of. So that is certainly something to consider. Roster moves first. It looks like we don't have anybody above 82 overall. Anybody I didn't draft? Yeah, you're gone. You're gone. See you later. I can't send them down. So scratch that. They are staying up here for now. Moment of truth. Edit lines. What are we looking at here? That is rough. And our only plus one line has a player who's not playing. So we need to go to the scratched. Check out Faraby. Really? What are you doing? Still a plus one. I'm happy with the 101 at the bottom there, but I refuse to have a dash one on my first line. Well, we can get plus one on our bottom six. We have normal ice time allocation, so that's kind of good. I don't think there's much I could do here. Might move Perfetti up, but then we have two snipers on the first line. That gives it a dash one. Yeah, I feel like this is the best bet. Playmaker, sniper, sniper. Why is there so many 82 overall snipers? I'm going to leave it like this for now. I don't expect the team to make the playoffs anyway. You know, we're just putting a squad together and hoping for the best. Maybe defense will treat us a little bit nicer. That's fine. That is absolutely okay. Are you kidding me? It doesn't get much better than that, ladies and gentlemen. I'm not going to touch it any further. Plus ones all around. And in net, we have Aiden playing with Johnny Boy. I think we might be able to pull off 30 wins somehow. That's my prediction. And I'll say that... Mason gets the most points? I don't know. With 63. There you go. The ultimate underdogs, the 82 overall squad, start off with a 2-0 loss. That's not so bad. And then we beat the Stars? Okay. Yeah. We're doing better than I thought we would. I'll say that much. Back-to-back -back wins and we are 7-7-0. Come on, we finally have a positive record. Carolina puts an end to... Aw, uh, no, t come on, guys. You can't lose one game and just tap out. Just don't finish last in the league. All right, that's my only request. I'm not gonna lie, I tried to fix up our power play and penalty kill a little bit, but nothing was working. We could not get chemistry to save our life. So, it is what it is. By the looks of it, we do have one or two teams competing for that dead last spot. And I don't want it. Morgan Riley's available. He's 82 overall, right? I can make a trade for him. Zach Hyman, 87. Yeah, 82 overalls aren't going to show up here. But trades aren't saving us at this point anyway. So get me out of here immediately. Like I said at the beginning of the video, I don't expect us to make playoffs. I just wanted to put the team together. Four straight wins out of the trade deadline. That is unheard of. Who's going to win the Stanley Cup? It is the Arizona Coyotes. And the Hartford Wolfpack are your Calder Cup champions. All right, let's stop the sim. Let's have a look at some stuff here. How's that? Winning five games to end the season? Is that good? We finished last in the Central with 74 points. Five behind the Dallas Stars. 
Let's go ahead and have a look at the entire league. I don't know. Don't ask me why I went that way. I don't know why I did that. The Calgary Flames are your President's Trophy winners. They had Braden Point playing with Zuccarello and Panarin. Kuzmenko, Backstrom, and Dano. That's a good second line. They grabbed Rodriguez for their third line. Freddie Anderson and Nett. Burns, McDonough. Solid defense. What about the Stanley Cup winning Arizona Coyotes? Lindholm playing with Marner and Tarasenko. Very good first line. Logan Thompson with Mads Sogard in net. Barry and Keandre Miller. Pizik on the second pair. Sure. To give them credit, their second and third line, pretty lethal. Here we go. Not last place. Not last. Yes! We didn't even finish second last. The Oilers finished last place with Gensel, Dreisaitl, and Dubé on their first line. Ekblad playing with Moser. Oh my goodness. That's wild. The only other team to finish below us. They brought back Rasmus Dahlin. They had Zadina, Kempe, Middlestat, Stone, Wright, Fiala, Montembeau with Sorokin. Hmm. Seth put up the most points with 52. Yeah, I... I knew we weren't going to get a lot of offense, okay? That does not come as a surprise, but what does come as a surprise is Laffy put up 23 points as a playmaker. He's also up to 84 overall. Let's see. So, Jarvis, 85. McTavish, 85. Definitely do see some player growth here, but nothing exponential. And there was one player who actually dropped. Thanks, Timothy. There it is. A sub 900 from Bernier. Not an awful record, though. Aiden Hill, also sub 900. To the surprise of nobody, I hope. Freddie had 46 wins this year and a 912 save percentage. Logan Thompson had an incredible year. 255 GAA. Vanacek up there. Kill my car went off. 85 points in 82 games. Miro with 78. Quinn 77. Then it's a big drop off to Moritz and Fox here. Your Art Ross winner, Connor McDusty. Just shy of 100 points, which means nobody got 100 this year. That's crazy. Ovi with 49 tucks. Nobody got 50 goals either. What a weird sim. Show me Marcus Foligno. What happened there? These goalies played outstanding in the playoffs. 931, 927, 932, and 924. Insane. Right above a 2 GAA as well. I mean, yeah, they pretty much were all floating in that general area. Dougie Hamilton leads defensemen by a lot. 23 points in 21 games, and he had 10 more than the next guy in Shane Costas Bear. Your Con Smythe winner, Mitchie Marner, had 32 points in 23 games. He was playing with Lindholm, who had 26 points. Malkin had 24 in 21. Let's go look at some awards. Team awards we are familiar with. In fact, I feel like we know quite a few of the player awards as well, but we're still going to run through them. Connor McDavid, the art and the heart combo, as you do. Norris goes to Kale. Hughes gets the Lady Bang. I'm going to be honest with you, I have no idea who that is. But good for you, Mr. Coronado. Mitch did get the Con Smythe. Robin Leonard with the Vesna, but the Jennings will go to Anderson. Devin Taves gets the Masterton on the Boston Bruins. Martinook gets the Jack Adams. Selkie to Dreisaitl. McDavid with the Lindsay. And then obviously Ovi with the Rocket Richard. Seeing the Predators logo beside him is just weird. I can't see him being anything other than a capital. And here is your playoff tree. So Arizona didn't really breeze through, but only five games in the Stanley Cup final after New Jersey kind of ran away with it post round one. Well, thank you for watching. If you have video suggestions or draft ideas, anything like that, be sure to leave it in the comments down below. If you tried out this draft, maybe you could try the 83 one. Let me know if it worked, all right? I'd be interested. If you enjoyed the video, the like button is in the top left corner of the net just waiting to be sniped. So you could do that, maybe. If you could subscribe, I would greatly appreciate it. But obviously you don't have to. I'll see you soon.